You told me the story of the war, when the ground shook and the sky burned. Of the ones that survived, who awoke to a different world, where the powerful prey on the weak. But that's not the way it has to be. When I found you, your very human brain was miraculously intact. It's the loneliest feeling not to know who you are. In time, you'll remember. I remember black skies, the lightning all around me. Alita is new here. <laughs> it's a harsh world down here. You gotta be willing to do what it takes. Alita, run! of her kind. She contains technology that has been lost for 300 years. Cyber Let me show you something. Martial arts. This body, I feel a connection to it. I can't explain. You know more about me than you're saying. Alita, uh, some things have been left forgotten. And I'll find out for myself. She's threatening the natural order of things. I need you to destroy her. Alita, they will come for you. I'll have to face them head on. I'm gonna need you to stand way back. Tonight is not a game. It is a hunt. It's a really action-packed trailer. It looks really awesome. Uh, it's, of course, it's based on this 1990s manga. It's a really action-packed trailer. It looks really awesome. It's, of course, it's based on this 1990s manga of the same name. Or actually, they reversed it. It's Battle Angel Alita, which actually I think sounds a lot better than uh, Alita Battle Angel. But you know, what do I know? Yeah, it's still kind of interesting that they went with the anime eyes, especially from the trailers where it seems like she's the only one who has it. Yeah, more made up a little bit to it. It definitely makes her stand out, and it looks more uh, otherworldly. I'm really curious to learn more about that world. I haven't read or watched the anime, but I didn't see any guns or lasers or anything like that. So I'm really curious. That's part of the setting because it does take place after some great war. She's one of the last war cyborgs, for lack of a better term. How the villains go up against her, how they try to combat her when she's apparently has some sort of advanced technology. And I'm definitely curious to see more trailers and learn more information about it. And maybe even try to catch up and read the manga. It certainly got James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez's name on it. so. It's got to be good. But yeah, it is cool. You see a lot of like conflicts with other cyborgs and uh, they all have apparently like long blades and as you see that guy with that claw hand with the chain fingernails or whatever. <laughs> well, she just has fists. So that's pretty awesome. I really expect to see a lot of action, a lot of cool fighting. You can definitely see the anime influence in there. So I'm definitely excited. It looks like it's got a great cast too. You got Christoph Waltz. Uh, playing the scientist who discovers her uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Real Steel. Like I kind of wish Real Steel had more of a story than just the guy fighting the robot and then just boxing and then getting closer to his son or whatever. This is definitely a lot more what I want to see is fighting a robot and that robot just kicking ass and starting a rebellion. So thanks again for joining me for another trailer reaction this time for Alita Battle Angel. If you like what you saw be sure to click subscribe and check out my other trailer reactions, B-movie reviews, and other ridiculous content. Also feel free to comment below on any things I might have missed in the trailer. Also let me know if it's worth catching up on the manga or if I should watch any of those anime movies before this movie comes out. Anyways, Jack Fan Slam, see you next time. <laughs>